Hello, my name is Benjamin Z. Miller, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question, why are hedge funds suddenly backing off of UK government bonds? Those hedge funds are just saying, we don't want more of those UK government bonds. Why are they doing that? Well, good question. So the answer is in the complex world of finance, understanding shifts in investment behavior can provide valuable insights into market sentiment and future trends. Recently, a significant move has caught the attention of seasoned investors and financial analysts. Hedge funds have been rapidly unwinding their bets against Britain's two and a half trillion government bond market commonly referred to as gilts. And that is not unique to those hedge funds. A lot of investors uh, that have UK gilts, they are thinking, where can I invest now? Where can I go that will pay even more than gilts? And there's a lot of interest actually in our company, Andesite Blue. Our corporate income bonds pay hundreds of basis points more than what you might be able to earn on UK gilts and other government bonds. But hedge funds, they make decisions based on anticipated movements in the market. When they expect the prices of gilts to drop, they borrowed these bonds, betting on a fall in prices. However, recent data from the S&P Global Market Intelligence showed that the total value of the UK's bonds borrowed by investors for this purpose has dropped to below 65 billion pounds sterling, its lowest level since at least 2006. But why this shift in stance? Well, there's a lot of factors. The market is sensing that the Bank of England might be concluding its campaign in raising interest rates. This belief grew stronger after the bank paused its interest rate rises recently. Also, the sluggish performance of gilts. They're really not doing so well. After a sluggish performance in the first half of the year, gilts have been re regaining their footing a little bit with an index from Ice Bank of America indicating a rise of 2.7% over the past month. Um, Inflation expectations. Nikolai Markov from Pictet Asset Management, he pointed out that the recent inflation data was softer than anticipated, hinting that there may not be significant inflationary pressures from the labor market in the near future. Then, of course, the future rate speculations. The market is currently leaning towards the probability of one or more rate rises to 5.5% by early next year. That's a revision from a previous expectation of a peak rate of 6.5%. You know, they did a recent survey that highlighted the UK's economic activity, and it has declined at its quickest pace since January of 2021, really amplifying concerns about a potential recession. Given this backdrop drop, while many see value in gilt still, especially in the medium term, some of the investors still exhibit caution, citing concerns about inflation and potential future rate hikes by the Bank of England. Now could be an opportunity for you. Aligning this with the investment opportunities amidst such uncertain and evolving landscapes, it might be prudent for you to diversify and consider novel investment avenues like andesite blue bonds. I mean, after all, our bonds pay significantly more, hundreds of basis points more than UK gilts and other government bonds. Why not? These bonds are bonds with their focus on marine conservation and sustainability not only offer an opportunity for responsible investment, but might also provide a hedge against market volatility. Since our bonds are not publicly traded, you don't have to deal with them whipsawing up and down all the time in value. Uh, they maintain their face value much better than, than publicly traded bonds that one newspaper story can just wreck the value. As always, balancing one's portfolio with a mix of traditional assets like gilts and innovative instruments like andesite blue bonds can be a strategic move in uncertain times. For more information, just email me, ben.meller at andesiteblue.co.uk. I hope that helps, and I wish you good luck with your investing.